The first step in launching a distributed denial of service attack, or better known as a DDoS attack, is to recruit an army of bots. In order to turn a computer into a bot, attackers develop specialized malware, which they spread to as many vulnerable computers as possible. Malware can spread via compromised websites, email attachments, or through an organization's network. Many users tricked into running such malware will unintentionally turn their computer into a bot and provide an access point for attackers to their computer. Once a computer turns into a bot, it connects to the attacker's command and control servers, and it begins to accept orders from these centralized machines. The orders from the command and control servers include directions for launching an attack from the bot's malware to a particular target using selected attack methods. An army of bots is named a botnet and usually consists of thousands of bots. Anytime the botnet owners want to launch an attack, they send messages to their botnet's command and control servers with instructions to perform an attack on a particular target. Any infected machines in the botnet will comply by launching a coordinated, well-timed distributed attack, known as a DDoS attack. Launching a large-scale DDoS attack is not a difficult task to carry out. One doesn't need to create its own botnet, as various pay-for-hire DDoS services are available. Anyone using such a service can launch a powerful DDoS attack on a target of their choice for anywhere from $5 to $200 per hour, depending on the attack size and duration. An average duration of a DDoS attack is about 24 hours. The motivations behind DDoS attacks can be financially driven, pursuit of crippling a business competitor, hacktivism, political, or even just for fun. No one, however, should doubt the potential cost of a successful attack. The business impact of a DDoS attack is substantial and can involve financial losses, reputation damage, customer agitation, and legal repercussions.